What we're going to look at here are the three components of a, of a soil profile that we put together for use on sites where the lawn area will have lots of pressure. And what do I mean by that? You know, that's thousands of people using it on a daily basis, uh, athletic fields where there's uh, lots of play on the field, uh, like uh, Heinz Field or PNC Park. These are very similar um, soil profiles that they construct so that their fields could be sustainable. And, and we do that in the parks as well. And if you look over here on the left-hand side is the drainage gravel. You know, this uh, will move water uh, out from underneath the uh, soil profile at an alarming rate. You know, and it's, it's just there to uh, provide a base and let water be able to move out of the system. This material in the center is what we call a bridging gravel. It, it infiltrates the drainage gravel and, uh, and then over here on the right hand side is the actual root zone mix. You know, this is 80% sand, 15% harvested topsoil, native soil, so it has the silt, the clay, and, and some sand component to it. However, it is mostly medium grade sand and, uh, <clears throat> and then there's 5% five five organic matter added to this as well. And, and that gives the cation exchange capacity that we need for uh, trees and turf to be uh, sustainable in using this type of, uh, these types of materials.